what is happening YouTube it's gorgeous got 392 thank you guys so much for tuning into the video today it means so much to me all the love and support I've been getting from all the Mopar lovers all of you guys out there just hitting the thumbs up if you guys enjoying the video uh, it means so much to me I hope you guys have an awesome Christmas if I do not make another video uh, by Christmas time uh, we got the scat pack out here guys we got the brand new mod another mod yes the oil catch can it just came in today we're gonna be doing a full install on that but first guys we're gonna be getting you guys a cold start uh, of the scat pack no muffler no resonators guys let's get going <laughs> All right, guys, so here is the catch can. Uh, I'm gonna kind of go over my thoughts in a second. This is the one from Billet Technology. Uh, really, really high quality uh, parts that come with this. Now, these range anywhere from like 120 to like $200, maybe even a little bit cheaper than that, maybe like 100 bucks. Uh, this one was like 140 or 150, and I must say it's really, really high quality. Now, the reason why I bought one of these was because a while back, I said I was gonna buy one. Now, if you guys have noticed, a lot of people out there put these on their 392s, like a bunch of people out there. Now, whether or not you need one for your car, I don't believe that. I know a lot of people say that you need to get a catch can for your 392. I don't believe that. I think if you're gonna have the car for a long time, I think you should definitely go out and buy yourself one, just because what these things are designed to basically do is these are pretty much supposed to filter out you know contaminants from getting back into your your engine and also it's supposed to basically uh reduce the oil vapors getting back into your intake and causing buildup now that's pretty much what the catch can is designed to do now whether or not you know pretty much what it comes down to is 140 150 dollars worth it to you guys i'm not gonna say to go out and buy one because I think you guys don't you guys don't need to spend your money on one uh but you know i like to take care of my stuff and so this is why uh, I basically bought one. All right, everyone. So let's go over really quick what exactly all came with this Billet Technology catch can. So we got two very high quality hoses. Uh, they are braided. Really, really awesome quality. Uh, the whole thing is just awesome. Very high quality. Another thing we got, uh, we got the mounting bracket. This is going to go right into there. Uh, we got the... These are for the end of the hoses. Now I already have these two. I already have these two mounted on here. These hoses did not come on. I just already mounted it. Um, and then we have uh, kind of these for the other ends of the hose. So whatever we connect these ends to, we can pop one of these on and then uh, we'll be able to put that on. So guys, let's jump into the install. So first things first, we're gonna have to take apart this PCV hose up here. We're gonna remove this from this end uh, and then we'll take it out from this end also. Uh, and so let's just get started on that. All right, so we just got the PCV hose off. A lot of people say that's hard to do. I just kind of like manhandled it off. Uh, some people use a screwdriver to like get in there and pry it out. Mine came off really, really easy though. So the next thing that we're gonna do is I wanna just mount the catch can. Is if you guys see these hoses right here, 
well if you look behind it these go these go straight into like the block there's a little rubber piece on the end and what you guys need to do is you guys need to pull this pull this out and then that's going to be where you mount the catch can i know it's kind of hard to see right there um, if I can get maybe a little bit of lighting right there, but you're gonna pull these kind of outward. I would recommend using a flathead sc screwdriver like this uh, to pry it out. So let's get going. All right, guys. So that took some effort. <laughs> so you guys see how we just pulled that out right there? So let me focus in. You guys see how we just pulled, we just pulled this out? That is where the catch can, move my finger there. That right there is where the catch can is gonna mount. Now this right here, this spacer right here is supposed to be uh, in between the block and the catch can. So. So now what you guys can do is obviously it's the catch can isn't like tight or anything um, but now what you guys can do is this thing should swivel around these right here are gonna go on the ends of those well I want to wipe that off really quick All right, so as you guys can see, I got the uh, got the fittings in. Now, I did not tighten this, and the reason I didn't tighten it is so you can have a little bit of playing room in here, uh, so you can kind of move around the hoses, uh, so you can get this one on there. Now, what we gotta do next, though, is we gotta make sure we don't forget these end pieces on the hoses. So we'll get these back in there, and then we should be uh, we should be good to go. got this thing all mounted up now what I'm gonna have to do is just kind of uh, tighten this a little bit up and get this thing and uh, yeah that's gonna be pretty much man it looks pretty good um, we'll get this thing started in a little bit and then we're gonna have this thing installed now I got this all tightened up it's pretty tight right there I'm pulling on it um, so I probably could have shortened up this hose right here just because you can kind of tell there's kind of a there's kind of a bend in a little bit, um, but the thing is, is you know, I go and I start cutting hoses, then I'm then I'm gonna put it back together, and one's gonna be too short. So I just prefer to not mess with the hoses. Um, they look this this one looks really good though. Like this one looks good. Uh, we got that all the way up there, and yeah, everything looks really really good, guys. Uh, let's get a startup. Alright guys, that is going to end the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, the car is just looking amazing. I got it cleaned up yesterday. Hope you guys have an awesome Christmas, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.